Hey gang, this is Stormy. Thank you guys so much for joining me back here in Uncharted Territory 2. Yes, today I know the name of the map. I tend to call it Uncharted Territory 1 because I've never played Uncharted Territory 1, but I've played this one halfway, and then Uncharted Territory 3 is one of my favorite maps, so I keep forgetting that there's one before this one. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I went ahead and made a ladder well down into the uh, blah, 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 Victory Monument, but that's it. I uh, made this three wide. It's still only three wide. Uh, it's still only too high because I was too lazy to cut it out some more because I want to grab a quick, quick recording before I go fix dinner. So we're going to do that. I, I mean, I could record after I fix dinner, but I'm, I might want to do something else after I fix dinner. So, you know, it's kind of that. So we are going to go back into the fourth intersection and probably back into Sands of Despair. Oh, right. I put a level something. Whatever gave me efficiency too, I put on there is uh, because it's not like I'm going to need this for anything else. So I might as well use it while I can. And Sands of Despair is probably about the best place to use a shovel. Um, did I get this? I got it off camera. Well, I mean, I got it on camera once, but I don't remember if I knew I didn't. Oh dear. Um, now, see if I can do this again. Oh yeah, the something. Uh, the Minecraft authentication or something is down there. Uh, Dinnerbone tweeted something was messed up and I didn't really pay any attention to it and didn't because I didn't realize that's what it was referring to. I was waiting for that fire to go out. Uh, I didn't realize it was referring to the um, skins. So Lacerator level four. Yay. New Lacerator. We need that. Stop burning. Ow, ow, ow. Why did I hear a fish? I thought maybe there was a spawner under here, but I guess not. But why did I hear a fish? Oh, I bet I made an endermite. Cool. Okay. Last right. I hear a skeleton. I really hope I'm not going to get shot off of here. Break this chest. Because why not? Okay. Maybe he's up there? I guess he's up there. I hear a skeleton. Huh. Oh. Really? Now I'm curious. <laughs> I gotta know. Where are they coming from? Oh, I can't see anything. Um. Shit. I can't see anything. I don't know where they're coming from down there. Because I can't tell. Yeah. Nope. Can't see shit, so I give up. There's a lot of them, too. I was going to make a honey pot down here, but I guess so much for that. Well, you know what I probably can do is stop you guys from existing. Maybe. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Ow. It doesn't seem to stop them. Whoops. I didn't mean to throw my sword. Give me my sword. Oops, I did manage to hit my HUD. Give me my HUD back. Thank you. Man. So I guess, are they spawning? So let's see. Not that this matters. I'm bored and I want to find, well, not bored. I, there's plenty to do in this map. I just want to find out about this. And if I light this all up, although they clearly spawn regardless of light, but if I do that, I don't think they can get up here anymore. Huh, interesting. I was going to use this for a honey pot, but maybe I won't. <clears throat> if the only thing that, or if those guys are going to spawn. Well, let's very carefully throw out some things we don't need. I don't need a chest, and I don't need more bones. I've got, I've got so many of both of those things, it's not important. I can hear those guys, and they're making me nervous. So I'm getting ready to ladder up. Can I go a little more... Piece of weight, I might want my blocks. Whoops, on my bar. Let's do that. Okay. Ah, dang it. I am pushing all the wrong buttons today. I've been playing other games, and, uh, well, it's, it's got my, uh, although the game I've been playing today uses a controller, not my keyboard, but it's whatever. Okay. Up. Whoops. No, not that. There. There we go. There we go. We made it. Where did we come up next to? Just out of curiosity. 
Revenge of the Void. Um, so I'm going to pop in here real quick. So I don't know if you guys actually saw the episode where I talked about this. Um, let me look. Uh, fun fact, I can spawn mobs holding enchanted weapons. For instance, skeletons will punch five on their bows, but that's just an example. I'm not that mean, right? Uh, I have a little bit of spoilers, sort of, just because um, I know uh, while well, I've watched Vex's LP of this. I'm going to leave the blocks there because we're going to want them. So this is a void area. And I find that incredibly terrifying. Admittedly, my avoidophobia is not as bad as it used to be, but it still does exist. So what I'm planning to do with that is I'm going to do it the same way I did the black wool in Waking Up and the, where am I going? Titan Falls, right? No, wait, nope, nope. That's where we came from. Uh, Sands of Despair, right? I did the black wool area in Waking Up and, um, oh my God, I don't believe I forgot what it was called. Pain Water and Legendary this way. I'm going to practice with a backup file. And that way I don't lose all my shit to the void. Um, you know, I have raged about void before. You, a lot of you guys have heard it. I have nothing new to say on it. But in my opinion, if you're going to give me void, that's fine. That's fine. It's your map. Build it how you want it. I get to practice it if I, if I want to. Go away. I actually found a spawner. Is there another one? Yes. Damn, Amla. So, yeah. I'm going to practice. The, uh, I thought I saw another one. I'm going to practice the, um, what's it, hoodles. So, the black wool area, that's it. Um, just because, like I said, it seems fair. It seems legit to me to do that, honestly. So, yep. Uh, what are you? Toolkit high. Stuff I don't actually honestly need, but it's nice to know it's there. What are what are you? Ow! Oh man, I thought that was a pig man. I freaked. Yikes! That's a pig man. I almost swatted at him. Going after that zombie. Almost swatted at the pig. Now I have to be ready to jump because there's uh, trapped sand in here, and I know that. So, um, I mean, look around at the holes. Fortunately, most, most of the traps seem to have been sprung. I don't know. If there's many more. There's something else down there? Looks like there's a different kind of block down there. I better get away from that edge before I get knocked down in. Kind of forgot that the area is not secure yet. So I can't really, uh, you know, rest on my laurels, so to speak. I do have a lava bucket. If the skeletons get too out of control on this mountain, I will make it a volcano. And I won't feel the least bit guilty about that. There. Alright, is that... No. I was going to say, is that most of the mountain lit up? But I don't think it's even a good chunk of this mountain lit up. There's a lot of skeleton spawners on this mountain, so... Um, and I don't want to come out of this structure and have just mass of ass skeletons to have to tolerate. So I'm going to light up a little bit better around here. Not going to try to find all the skeleton spawners. I have no idea where he put them. I'm just going to do the best I can, make it somewhat secure. And I thought that was a blaze, but it's just, just a flame. It's okay. It's okay, Storm. I thought I saw something right there, but I didn't, apparently. Um. Whoops. Okay. Now that I've given everything in here sufficient time to spawn, I see... Let's... I kind of know how this works, but not really. Okay, that goes down to there. Great. Okay. Now, I do have a lava bucket, and I'm not afraid to use it, and that might be the best way to do this part, is to just lava bomb the hell out of it. Yeah. 
Here, go down there. Creeper's in there. Oh shit, there's TNT. Well. Does lava set off TNT? I honestly can never keep track. Well, I'll have the water bucket handy. Okay, it doesn't seem to be setting off the TNT, which is good. Um, I do have a flame bow, so I need to be very careful what I shoot at. Ba ja. Oh, wait! Did it work? No. There are indeed floating items. And now I have to make sure my lava doesn't get to it because then I'll lose it. That's a potion. I want that. So let's see. I got a posh. Or did I already have that? Did I get? Oh, I did. I got the experience bottles at least. Oh, wait. I bet it's down there. Whoops. Or it got blown up. Or, or something. Or no, maybe it was. Oh, wait. I used the regen potion. That's right. So that is. I did pick it up. Cool. Well, that was fun. There's still another chest in there. So let's get up there and. Oh, wait. I probably need to go back up where. Now, there's st I think there's still active spawners around me somewhere, because I hear things spawning. Um, it's probably possible. Oh, okay. Bunch of gold stuff. All right, cool. I'll take... There's all this TNT still around. I am so damn nervous right now, like... Uh, yeah. But you got it. Oh, I was just trying to stack my torches. You guys gotta admit, it was kind of slick, right? Um... Meh, whatever. Efficiency 10. Unbreaking 1. Um, 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 um. Well, efficiency 10 will be fun to use for a minute. It's a good spawner pick, actually. Okay, well, that's this area. Uh, Let's pick up our lava. Oh, it's up one floor up. And my fire resist is gone. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's just strength now. That's fine. I didn't... It... it worked so also so did the strength it was letting me one shot the creepers um and that's how i was able to jump in there the way i did if i hadn't been able to one shot those creepers one of them would have exploded blown up the tnt and it would have been coitins for us but they did so yay strength okay scary though oh man look at all these friggin skeletons they're Damn spawners around here somewhere. There's a witch over there, too. I just, like, charge for the witch. Just ignore everything else and just run at the witch so I don't get point. Ow. What is it? I'm tanky against arrow fire because I fixed my, my chain projectile protection chest plate. Ow. It's annoying, but I'm tanky. <laughs> That knockback still pisses me off. Well, the yeah, the jo getting jostled around is still annoying as hell. But I am tanky against it. You know what? This is what I brought this for. Oh, it's not that fast. But, yeah, whatever. What did I get? Oh, I didn't get one. Okay. Anyway. Arrgh! Oh, are you guys from that one spawner that was inside that I dumped the lava on, but would still be dark out here and is probably dark inside by now, too? Probably it. They're probably spawning through the wall. That was sweet. Death from above. That's the particles of the one that just died, not the one, not one being spawned, so that's cool. I'm going to run to the uh, hallway over here, wherever the hell the hallway, however I get there. How do I get there? Oh, right, that's right. Same way, you just go around a different way. <laughs> Same way, you just go a different way, because that makes all the sense ever. Let's uh, stick a chest. Yeah, I didn't grab the chest. 
I am just having a time. And of course, oh, well, I can just run across here. I think there's chests in here. I didn't bring any supplies over because it's not that far to, to, to go. But I don't want to do it on camera. But I am going to run over here and empty out our, po our pockets because I do not want to die and lose all the nice things. Well, it's not great things, but they're nice things. You know, the things I'd like to have and not lose. So we're going to put them over. Oh, hell, is there not a stupid chest over here? Run. There is down there, but I don't want to go all the way down there. Do I have wood? I don't even have wood. Let's go back to base. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. Thank you. There. <laughs> to go all the way, right? Hmm. Um... This can be backup gear if I need it. That might be handy. Um, blocks. Don't need the gold. I need ender pearls is what I need. If I had my druthers, I'd rather have some, some ender pearls than a bunch of gold gear that I'm probably, frankly, not going to use. Really? I put that there partly because it was a good place to put it and partly just, you know, just perfectly, perfectly good spare set of gear. Um, if I need it, so. I mean, gold gear, the protection for gold gear is great for a minute, but it, what it is perfect for, I mean, I wouldn't put it on to, like, assault an area. It is perfect for, oh, shit, I died, I need a quick set of gear to grab, throw on, and run back and get my stuff. That's what, in my opinion, the gold armor is good for, so. Um, yeah, it'll get you where you need to go. As long as where you need to go is not too far into the level, because it will break. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I don't remember all of this map, like I said before, watching it. Um, I watched a couple people play it and rewatched it. This is a late. This is a later area, so um, I do remember this area better than a lot. Uh, Enderman. Do me a favor. Whoops. Stay. Oh, that's all oh, that is sand. Ow. Yeah. I'm trying to make an Enderman shelter. Ah. ah. Really? He's not even gonna sorry guys, he's not even gonna aggro. Jesus! <laughs> Come here. Stuff tends to blow up in this level. Have you guys noticed? Go away. Ah! Okay, pro tip. Don't have vines right outside your enemy's shelter. Come here. You ass. Great, now he de -aggro. Now everything is going to come. Can you just die? Thank you. How many enderpearls? Eh. One from each. I don't think I have looting, so... Do I? No, didn't think so. I don't... <laughs> looting is not a huge deal to me because the only thing I care about it for is ender pearls. So if I have, you know, if I... Uh, I don't really worry too much about putting it on my swords because um, I don't necessarily... Usually by the time I can have looting, I don't need looting unless the mapper is nice and gives you a looting sword at the beginning of the map. But once you're done with that, uh, you don't usually need more stuff. That makes me jump, and I saw, I mean, I saw something flashing, I just didn't know what it was. What is it? Like a, like a, well, whatever it is, it destroyed itself pretty quickly. Um, I saw that. Ow, stop that. Not the cactus. Okay, I see that. You guys see that right there? That pig man has swirls. I bet you anything he hates me. Fortunately, he's really not smart. <sighs> no. Come 
Come on. Ah, oh, really? He de -aggroed. Fine. Problem is, he's probably going to re-aggro if he sees me again. Let me try going around this long way. I'll be right back, you guys. I don't know if you can hear that, but a cat is knocking at my door. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, my cat was banging the door around in the door frame because the doors aren't real tight and, the, like, they move. Um, so, yeah. Every time I see a, that hand, it looks like a paw to me. Um, bye. Ow, stop. Please stop shooting me backwards. Allow me to get to you so I can kill you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Amla? I'm having skeleton rage. Just want you to know. I hope you're happy. He's not watching this. But if he was, I hope he's happy. I have skeleton rage. Now, where are the pig spawners? Yeah, I know, it's, it's, I used the durability on my sword, I just didn't want to have to switch right away, you know? I haven't found the pig spawners. Where'd he put those? I don't remember. I legit do not remember. Whoa. Um... I think Vex found, oh god, I think Vex found them, but I don't remember where they were. I see you come dancing down there, and I see you too. Now, where did you spawn from? I don't want to hit them, because if I hit them, I'm going to get all the pigmen in here hating me. So, are there any pits that don't have skeleton spawners in the bottom? Because, duh, see, 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 if I hit that, that pigman back there... That guy's going to hate me, and I don't want him to hate me. I do not want to fight every pig man in here. I just don't. So that would be bad. See if we can be smart. Um, they don't seem to aggro from very far away, at least. I have an idea. Oh, yeah, really? Wow, you can tell there's not much dark space in this map. Look how quick those guys spawned up there. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it's not going to work the way I wanted it to. Because the skeleton spawners are not... Um, I, w I thought maybe the skeleton spawners were like down right on top of the water or something where the lava would make it make them not as effective but they're they're not they're up above it so that won't work so here's what we are going to do we're going to make us a panic thing here now the idea for this <laughs> light it up the idea for this is Um, obviously the pigmen will hopefully, if I have to run from pigmen, I can run to the ladder and go on the little bridge and they will hopefully be dumb enough to fall in. That's what I'm hoping. Watch it not work at all, but I'm hoping. I have no idea. Oh God. Well, we get to test it. I didn't know there was a pigman right there. They got smart. Yeah, their pathfinding got smart. Yep. I couldn't remember which path they got or which patch they got better pathfinding. It would be this one apparently. Um Ow. What are the odds? I landed right in the friggin' fire. And on top of a creeper. The odds of that happening in a CTM are pretty good usually, but that's kind of hilarious. I guess I should have been more careful. I didn't. It didn't occur to me I would manage to hit the fire. It's like one block. Um, let's get the hell in there. I don't know where the pig spawner's at, but I can't. Gosh, I can't seem to find the pig spawner. So, I 
Now, uh, I think, did I start telling you guys about that or not? Um, I do remember a little bit about how, ow, about what's in here. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I, yeah. Um, I remember a little bit about, uh, what's in here. So, I will explain to you guys what I mean when I get there. I'm not there yet. Please don't blow up. I don't want to blow this place up. I feel like it's going to become harder to deal with if it's blown up. I just have this funny feeling that if I, if I blow this place up, like, there's going to be holes everywhere, and the monsters are going to be able to get to me, and stuff and there's a hole right there and i see i don't think you guys can see that there's a pissed off pigment down at the bottom of that hole so we are going to be very careful okay It wasn't me! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Oh, shit. Run. I didn't hit- <laughs> I didn't hit you! It was the skeleton! You idiot! Damn it, why are they mad at me? The skeleton hit him. Okay, this is bad. Let's just go. I think I can probably outrun him, except that baby. But I want to get away from the other one. So if I do have to turn around and kill these guys, at least I can without getting my exit cut off. Okay. I didn't. Ugh. All right. We need to go because these guys don't de aggro. I think. I think the only way to get pigment to de aggro is to make them despawn. I think. That's how it is in one of the versions. I don't remember which one. Uh, I think there's one if you go far enough away. I, I don't know. Of course, I guess if you go far enough away, they're going to despawn anyway. It, I, maybe it's not. I don't know. But we're going to assume. But I think if I warp back to base, they should all despawn. I should be far enough away that they will just, like, instantly despawn, right? Right? Somebody told me once, if you get, like, a, is it 120 blocks away? Like, all the enemies just, like, despawn. So, ow. So, yeah. Probably. It should work, but this is, oh, excuse me, I've got the hiccup, so I'm going to end the episode here, pets, but uh, I hope you liked the episode, and in the next one, we're going to keep going with Sands of Despair um, the best we can. I'm going to put some more, hopefully I'll have my skin back too, because I look weird as Steve, and I can't get the Alex skin, so... Not that I'm not worried about it because, I mean, it's, you know, not a big deal. I never use Steve anyway, but, um, yeah. So, and we're going to keep going with that. And hopefully, I hope we can manage to defeat it. Do enemies spawn on glass? I don't think they do. I don't remember. Anyway, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.